Jim Dorch was a high-profile recruit out of Portland's David Douglas High School when he arrived on the bluff. At 6'5", the two-sports star was a prototype small forward on the hardwood and a powerful presence when he stepped on the baseball diamond. Playing basketball for Hall of Fame coach Al Negrati and with Hall of Fame teammates Steve Anstett and Cincy Powell, he was graceful and athletic, combining good outside shooting with outstanding jumping ability. He was an Oregon State nemesis during his college career, scoring 17 as the Pilots upset the nationally ranked Beavers 67-58 in 1962. And he dropped 21 and 23 points on OSU during the 61-62 and 62-63 seasons. A four-year starter in center field for the Pilots, Jim was compelling in the field and at the plate. A copy of the Beacon from spring of 1964 noted that Jim was a pro prospect. He had the speed to chase down balls hit in the gap and turn them into outs, challenged base runners with a cannon arm, and brought home run power whenever he stepped in the batter's box. Jim's throwing ability led to 12 career appearances on the mound for the Pilots, but it was at the plate that he left a testament to his prowess as he compiled a career batting average of 354 and a career slugging percentage of 514. His teammates selected Jim as the Pilots' most valuable player in 1963, and following his senior season in 1964, he was signed by the Chicago White Sox. Jim returned to the bluff to complete his undergraduate work and received his Bachelor of Arts degree in 1973. Residing in Southern California, Jim passed away in 2012.